started with a new arc where it's like, hey, you guys did so well, but because you did well, we got to kill one of you. Well, not kill. They're getting expelled. Who's going to get expelled? Who knows? Is it finally Yamagod's time? This dude is like public enemy number one because, you know, he's just an idiot. Absolute idiot. But he still has confidence that he's not going to get expelled. And I have a feeling that like Shirata's got a target on his back because the idiots from the bottom are going for the top, right? It's a very interesting system where other classes can like send like positive votes. But like at the end, the top and the bottom, if they somehow tie or some shit, you could like have like a decision maker special exam. There was Nagumo being a creep too. Ryu in his back. His fucking cleavage is out. Bro has the fire back in his eyes. I hope he doesn't get expelled. And I don't know, Koji. He's just planning on just like laying low. But there's also like some uh some hints that maybe. Maybe Anakoji's dad, the White Room influence, may have taken over the island because, as Sakanagi's dad, Sakanagi said, my dad's gotten suspended, right? And then there were some cameras, like you know, cameras are looking at us, right? So I don't know. Let's begin today's reaction, though. Quote of the day is: People will do anything, no matter how absurd, in order to avoid facing their own souls. Damn, this is a deep ass. This is a deep ass quote, dude. Psychology and alchemy, C. G. Jung. Basically, like. In order to avoid facing their own souls, so basically your own demons, your own like insecurities, you'll do anything but face your own demons and try to move forward. That's damn. I think everybody can relate to that, right? I'm not gonna lie, nobody cares about you two characters. I don't even know who the fuck the one on the left is. The right girl is the one that got rejected, but let's get serious. <laughs> These girls are crazy if they think that they're important enough to be targeted in this exam. Shut the fuck up. Wait, Hondo? Hondo? Wait, what's that Hondo scene? What's that? Hondo, Hondo trust me, nobody knows you exist either, bro. <laughs> now, this is an idiot that should actually think about his own position, but like, fuck. Damn it, this atmosphere is like just fucking swears and leaves and puts a target on his back even more. Pseudo, eh, maybe? These two right here, though. The, the three idiot trio, right? The idiot trio or is it the three heavenly kings? I don't know. Yamagot, is he gonna make it out? I'm not sure. Who's he texting? That's right. Yamagot's making plans. <laughs> Bro, he's fucking texting. Like he's fucking Ayana Koji texting K right now and having all these different decisions going on behind the scenes. <laughs> Who are you texting, bro? Who? Arisu? Yo, whatever happened with Arisu, man? Arisu brought y Yamagot. We're like completely ignoring that. Remember? Arisu fucking brought in a Yamagod, and I thought shit was going to go down, but then the thing that happened after is Yamagod just like shitting on everyone with drama, and then we just completely ignore it. Hello? Like, what? Yeah, it's like Survivor, right? You gotta form groups and try to have positive votes casted on each other. Who are we gonna kill? That's the funniest thing. Ryuin was straight up like, do you have the resolve to kill? As he asked Susan, as if like they're about to go to war or something. And, like no one is dying. It's just a person getting expelled. But I love how seriously they take it. It's like, do you have the resolve to kill? It's like, what do you mean? Oh. Susan got that fake resolve. She can't do it. She's very self-aware though, though. You know, I can't really shit on her as much. <laughs> Manabu should have already dealt with it, and he's big chill, and the fact that you even need to ask this question is the reason why Nissan will never look at you the same way he looks at Ayana Koji. Oh, Hirata? And Ayana Koji? Hey, yo. Isn't that like Valentine's? No, has Valentine's happened in this show? It already has, right? A couple episodes ago with um, K giving them chocolate. I thought it was like leading up to it. No, today's just Valentine's for us. I was going to be like, he doesn't know what you're trying to do, but... Uh oh Who's this? Asahina! Can we trust her? Can we trust her, though? We're more than friends now. I don't trust the second year senpai, dude. Oh, what? <laughs> that she's a fucking... What is she other than a criminal? What, what, what kind of different rumors do we have? What does she do? Is she getting expelled? What? What? Huh. 
I, re I really didn't really understand the final scene in the last episode, right? The date me Honami scene as she looked at her like points because she clearly used some points as a favor, right? So there's some kind of deal happening with Nagumo. Nagumo is somehow helping Ichinose and in order to do that, Ichinose has to date Nagumo, but it's like beyond that, what is it, right? That's right. Oh! <laughs> Date me, Unami. <laughs> I see. No way to date him can't be. Can we trust her though? So this implies that within the United Second Years, under the leadership of Nagumo, there is potentially a faction war going on. Can we trust her? Because I feel like everybody is just a fucking double agent, bro. I've been betrayed over and over again. I don't trust Miss Sunflower here. But if this is true, that this implies that either she is the one leading up a coup or there's like an actual group, right? So like, hold up. Maybe this is our way of toppling Nagumo. At the same time, getting the favor of some second years. Maybe Asahina herself is the leader. Is she smart enough? I don't know if Miss Sunflower is smart enough, but okay, okay. Hmm. Why does she care about Ichinose like this so much though, huh? Like, unless they're like actually good friends. Like, why does she have empathy for her? Other than like feeling bad that Nagumo is using her because maybe Nagumo used Asahina too? What, what do you mean? Why does she care so much? Maybe she's a fellow shoplifter? True, true. Hmm, I still don't trust her, but very interesting. Is this supposed to be like an iconic moment where she dangles her fucking charm on her phone? What is that? Why do they put so much like budget into this scene? Hold up, did you see this? We should replay this. Hold up. She's very proud of that little trinket she has. Look. This is not a light novel illustration, right? <laughs> Why is she doing this? Alright, it's supposed to be like a charm or some shit. Alright. He's not gonna do anything. Hirata! Ah, oh, shit. The gay bros unite. Here's the thing why do I feel something off about Hirata so far. Because remember, everybody has some sort of defect. That's why they were in class D. Now we're in class C. Hirata seemingly seems so perfect all throughout season 1 to 2, right? There has been moments where he kind of kind of loses his cool or... He, he, he's like the floor mat, right? He's a floor mat. No matter what he does, he'll always be the floor mat so that everyone else will walk over him as long as that means uniting the class. Now, in season 3 opening, the cards, right? There, there's a bunch of stuff that happens when you see the cards, right? Different key players show up. And I believe Yamagad was like the, the spade of 3, right? The 3 of spades. Hirata was like... The heart of Joker, right? What does that mean? Or was it the heart of Ace? I forget, but he was there. So like, I would expect there to be some kind of defect to be shown pretty soon. Was he Jack? Jack of Ace? I forget. Oh. We go into his room? <laughs> oh, I see. I see. We can talk in my room. What's wrong with his eyes though, right? Look at his eyes. He looks so painfully tired. Wait, 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 wait. Someone just said, Three of spades lol in 13, which I'm assuming is a game. That's the lowest card. So you're telling me the author or even the animation studio is intentionally shitting on Yamauchi in public, but people don't really know unless you have that knowledge that it's the lowest rating card in that specific game. <laughs> That's sad. Oh! <laughs> Yes, the boys! What are you doing here? Wait, he's actually requesting for help? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Dude, cuz like in the light novel apparently like he is actually in big danger in class 1c right now Like yes, I don't think Koenji is gonna get expelled, but apparently he isn't quite big danger But bro was literally telling They got the trash out for me, huh? I'm too busy fucking third year girls. Goodbye <laughs> chat. I love him Hirata's so mad is there something more between Koenji and Hirata there? What was that? 
What the fuck was that? Why is he getting so personally upset? I, is, is he just... Is it just the stress building? It's not Koenji specifically, right? But when Koenji showed up in the in, in front of the elevator, Hirata kind of had like a face was like, you're not going to still change? Hirata boy. Hirata boy. Yeah, I think it is just the stress. I mean, Koenji is actually like asking kind of help for help right now. Well, no, he's not asking for help. He is ordering his foot soldiers to figure this out, right? <laughs> Fucking figure it out. All right, get them expelled. I'm out. You never change. You've got a giga chat. What is enough to actually change him though, huh? What is actually enough to change Koenji to actually participate, you know, and contribute? I don't know if there's ever going to be a moment. But even now, like, this should be one of the most dangerous exams for Koenji, right? This character does nothing for the class. I think that even though he doesn't... I don't think he's going to get expelled, but he still is a prime target in my opinion. So it's like, something's going to happen in the future, but bro is still not budging. Hey. While licking your wounds. <laughs> Bro is straight up telling us, while you guys go up to little Hirata's room and have your little therapy session, stop wasting time and try to get Yamauchi out. Yes, sir! God, what a giga chat, dude. <laughs> Damn. Hirata's pose right here reminds me when Manabu was about to fucking palm strike Isu's in season one. <laughs> Look at it. It's fucking... What are you doing to this poor elevator? I don't want to go to your room anymore, bro. <laughs> this is kind of too deep. What the fuck? Have you really? That's right, we did unite. Yes. That's right. Two seasons to unite these monkeys and then Yamauchi just destroyed it in an instant. Someone's gotta die, man. Someone's gotta die. You gotta choose who you're gonna kill. No. Do you think that Hirata will be a guy to... have himself be expelled? For the sake of the class? Do you think... Because based on his actions in season 1 and 2... And even now, he's straight up still trying to save everybody. Hirata would straight up... Be willing to die for the sake of his class, wouldn't he? Like, I feel like that's exactly what he would do. Don't you think so? Bro is like always being the floor man. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Put the tenfold theory hat on. Let me cook. So if Ichinose had to borrow points from Nagumo, right? <laughs> okay, let me cook, let me cook, that's right. It's, if Ichinose has to borrow points from Nagumo to get 20 mil to, you know, have that, you know, save, save card. What if Anakoji just lets that happen? Asahina straight up said that, hey, you should do something about this. Anakoji's like, nah, I'm gonna let her do that. Then I'm gonna manipulate her into giving me those 20 points. And then I'm gonna use those 20 points to save someone in my class to solve Hirata's problem? I don't know where I'm going with this man. We need, we need Daddy Nagumo's money though. Or we just fucking get rid of Yamauchi. Yamauchi! EK! Now EK is actually kinda goaded. EK and Sudo is actually goaded. Yamauchi is absolutely useless. Hakase! Fucking, uh, fucking professor. Like, bro's only useful thing is having an Excel sheet with a tier list of girls' bus sizes that wasn't even shown in the anime. They're all useless. Hondo! Hondo is useless! Sakura Airi! The fucking SD card in her camera was more important than Sakura Airi. Get rid of this girl! Why do you care about these useless trash? <laughs> fucking Kushida too, why not? Cool-headed? Cold-blooded. <laughs> Bro thinks that he's still the class leader. Bro still thinks that three seasons in. Arakoji's NPC and Hinata's the leader. Or no shot. No shot. You don't have like a single. Like, he's gotta be aware, right? Is he truly not unaware? I is he truly not aware that Arakoji is puppet master? I guess only Suzune, Kushida, who else would know right now? Koenji? Is he really... Is, is that really it? I feel like 
Hirata is just a fucking puppet. We, we, we he's literally the fucking president of the United States. Fucking useless. Just goes up there, just fucking has a speech. But technically, everyone behind the scenes is you know controlling. He Who's the booty call? Who's the booty call? Uh, I'd like the booty call to be Manabu or Ryuen. But probably Kushida Ichinose? Ah, oh, there she is! Honami! Albert? Family. <laughs> Ooh, I, got a, I got a booty call. The floor is cold! You so feel free to sit on the bed. Oh, oh, that line. Yo, Koji's social game is getting so good. What the fuck? Why is he so cool? I thought he's supposed to be like literally on the spectrum. What the fuck? Oh my gosh, she stuttered there because she was rizzed up. <laughs> weirdly exciting. <laughs> This is weirdly exciting. <laughs> okay, let's poke at Asahina's request. Is she the new? His condition. Oh, about dating. How the fuck did Ichinose guess that? That Asahina would be the one to like rat out. I, 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 I guess behind the scenes, people are kind of aware that Asahina is kind of close to Nagumo, but might be ratting. So doesn't this kind of imply that Nagumo should also be aware that Asahina might be a rat? I still don't know if I can trust her, you know? Because this show is like everyone is a fucking double agent. They always got fucking smartphones recording, but then there's a second smartphone recording that smartphone. Like, I can't trust anybody. What's in that tea? Don't drink it. No! He's gonna roof you! Four mil. Do we have four mil in our class? Wait. Now, I don't know how much Ichinose started with, but we still need four mil. Why did Nakumo not give her the rest? I'm sure he does have that, right? Unless the penalty from the previous exam, the mountain arc, was too much. What about the four mil? Sorry. Ichinose has 60 mil after Nagumo lent. Right? Am I getting that correctly? Or is this before Nagumo has lent her the points that she has 16 mil? What is that? Before. Okay, 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 okay. So she so Nagumo just needs to lend four mil. So technically we could cover four mil. But we could also not cover four mil. We could let Nagumo give her the four mil, hit that 20, manipulate her, give me those 20 points for my class, and we save ourselves instead. Could we? I don't know. He just fucking rizzed her up. She's sitting in her fucking bed, bro. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, 4 million points per date. Riz. Riz. She's too good. It's the power of friendship in Class B. <laughs> Is he though? Do you, do you think he's genuinely worried for Ichinose? Or do you think that he's just keeping a tab on her and maintaining her? Just making sure that her rapport, you know... You, you, you ever play games like in MMOs and there's these NPCs and sometimes you interact with them, you give them gifts to like increase their rapport. And the more affectionate they are for you, the more they'll treat you better. I feel like Koji is just fucking, you know, acting like he gives a shit to make her, you know, be a good ally, you know? <laughs> or is he just horny right now? What's going on? What? If I hadn't talked to you, Ayana Koji, I might have been able to make up my mind more easily about Nagumo. Is she not indirectly saying that, hey, before I met you, I would have just gone with Nagumo. But now that you're in my life, I don't know what I would do. <laughs> Wait, isn't this like basically her saying, I care about you? <laughs> Please save me from Nagumo? Huh. All right. I mean, hey, 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 you gonna follow up on that or what? Yeah, what's up? Oh, he's just still going on it. Aren't you pretty amazing? Wait, what did she say? What did she say after this? Hold up. I'm afraid I don't feel that way. Okay. You're just what? You're just what? Say it! What was she gonna say? What was she gonna say? <laughs> Did he put something in this? Did Ayana Koji put some kind of fucking drug in this to make her feel more like...
like open so she would fucking leak some I you you, you know you, you know I don't know bro I feel like bro is a type to like fucking drug her so that she would tell him the truth more like no not laxative she's gonna shit herself on his bed but you know I feel like if there's some kind of like potent tea or some shit that like makes you tell your honest feelings more get you excited I don't know man knowing a guy like that oh shit it's Yamauchi look at, look at this useless bitch right here dude. Look at this useless bitch. No, I'm not talking about the four NPCs in the front. And I'm not talking about Ike and Yamauchi on the right. I'm talking about Sakura Airi, dude. What has she done? You guys have said that she's gonna come in clutch season three. What are we doing? Feel what? The animosity in the room? Why is Yamauchi smiling? Why is Yamauchi smiling? Why is Ike so chill? What did they got cooked up? What did the idiot trio do? People have basically formed groups. Target is someone in our group. Someone in our group. I would like Sakura to get out, dude. Straight up. Fuck Sakura. <laughs> no, fuck you. I hate you. You're useless. The SD card is more important than you. Hey, listen. Listen. I hate this girl because I care about her character. Let me explain. I think that this character, the way that she had entire like couple episodes in season one, in entirety of volume two, invested into this character, I thought that this is somehow laying down the groundwork. Because, okay, you're gonna bring in this like weak little character that's afraid of showing her real face, and she took the mask and she's moved on. But after that, all she's done is be reduced to a girl that only simps for Aana Koji and nothing else. Dude, she is fucking trash the way that the author has decided to handle Sakura, right? It's hard to fucking invest all these different plot lines and different characters and have them all shine equally. Maybe her time is yet to come. Okay, but right now, I'm telling you, as of right now in the anime, she is still fucking useless. And here we go. Here we go. There is nothing to be embarrassed about being weak, okay? There is nothing wrong with being weak. But staying weak and refusing to change, that is fucking shameless. And this character is fucking trash, and I shit on her because I care about this character. You understand? You understand? <laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs>、<laughs
why you're here for me, Kay. And then she starts to blush immediately. The Riz, the social game! First he's got Ichinose, now he's got K. He just fucking K. Oh my god. She's probably so happy about that. But she's probably still worried for him. So K will be instrumental in this arc to save Anakochi? Wait, Kushida scene. Whenever we're out here, it's probably a Kushida scene, right? I swear to God, this is like the default background map. Whenever we interact with Kushida, let's see it. Kushida. <laughs> Every time! This is our spot! I mean, this is the place where we saw Kushida for the first time. Just like curb stomping the fucking railing and getting mad at us, right? And even like last episode two or the episode before that. Like, this is our spot! She looks nice though. Yeah, I'll, I'll fall. She looks. Wait, what did you say? What did you say? It's probably you. Didn't this bitch literally tell us that she's trying to get us expelled? Like, in the sports festival. Kushida straight up said, Suzune and Anakoji, I want you both gone. Remember that? So, like, Kushida being the ringleader kind of makes sense? Like, if you were to really think about, like, actual characters in our class that's, like, even smart enough to come up with such a plan, like, there is no one really other else now. And yes, we do have a deal, the 50% of the cut, that is nice and all, but she should still, I would expect her to, her to be, be aware that Anakuji is also trying to get her out, right? Because he did confirm this, right? So, like, I feel like Kushida is a very good candidate to be a ringleader, but, like, because, like, who else would be, huh? Fucking pseudo? Fucking... Wait, you think that girl that we rejected? Remember Kay's friend? What was her name? What was her name? Fucking Sa uh, Saki. No, not Saki. Uh, Sato. You think the Sato is the ringleader? Because <laughs> we rejected her. <laughs> no. Like, think about it. Like, what other characters actually have beef on Anakoji? He's an NPC. Other than Kushida, that we already kind of are in, like, just mud wrestling with. There's Sato that we rejected. But other than that, I think that Yamauchi, Ike, Sudo, they're pretty chill with Anakoji too. Like, based on, like, like, novel reading, they're, like, actual friends, right? Professor Hondo? Like, who else is there? Straight up, there's fucking nobody. Is there someone I'm missing? So you <laughs> is it Suzune? Is it Suzune? Because Suzune realizes that Nissan only looks at Anakoji that way. Is Suzune upset that Nissan loves Anakoji more than Suzune? No, it can't be that. It can't, can't be that, right? It can't be. It can't be. It's gotta be Kushida. Or fucking crazy, crazy card is fucking Arisu manipulating Yamauchi into... Like, yeah, Arisu's basically texting Yamauchi, giving, her, giving him all the different orders. Like, literally just follow these steps and you will get him out, right? Maybe I, but Arisu specifically said, Arisu literally said in the beginning of the season before he even started in the fucking trailer. Hmm, I said I'd crush you first, but I'm gonna take each no say out. That was a fucking lie. That was a fucking lie. And then again, she's like, okay, our duel resumed, but actually, we gotta take care of a special exam, so I'll handle you later. But like, this bitch probably cooking up something behind the scenes too, huh? So like, I don't know, man. <laughs> Wait, 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 what am I saying? What am I saying? Did she just say it's you? Doesn't that just confirm I'm the only one who it is? That that means that it's you. I, it, she's just saying it's her, right? I'm, I'm the only one who knows who it is. Wait, the English here. Doesn't that logically mean that it's her? Like, the way that she phrased this means that it is her. Right? I'm the only one who know who it is. It's you! No, it doesn't mean two people. Because if she says, I'm the only one who the ringleader is, that means the ringleader themselves don't even know who they are. Implicitly, you are stating that there's only one person with this information. That English translation fucked me, but anyways. This piano theme is sinister, man. New soundtrack? So did you do this, bitch? Liar! Ooh. Listen, this soundtrack is really good. This conniving bitch, man. Hmm. What if the ringleader is not within our class? Think about it. Why are we thinking inside the box? Other classes can have influences here too, man. Straight up. So I feel like Kushida's working with Nagumo or Kushida's working with Arisu. I, I don't know. Something else has got to be going on here, right? 
Okay, who is it? No! no! What do you mean? What? Yeah. The ringleader is Yamauchi? What? No! This dude is too stupid! Hear me out. It's not... It's not... It's not just Kushida and Yamagata. No, 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 no. It's Arisu texting Yamauchi and working side with Kushida. No, I don't trust it. No, 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 no. There's no way the black room fucking prepared him for this. No, no. There is no shot this idiot even knows what the word ringleader is, dude. No, I, I feel like... Yeah, well, I feel like Yamagot is simply a proxy right now. Yamagot is simply a tool, a proxy, a middleman. Arisu is controlling Yamauchi. And Kushida is happening to be around the side, just letting the fanning the flames because she enjoys this. Nah, dude. Alright. It's time to fucking get Yamauchi out. <laughs> Kushida, come on! Where's your poker face? You can't go like, oh! So, out of Kushida literally told us, so the real wing leader is uh, Sakayanagi, huh? Kushida goes, <laughs> how, did, how did you? I mean, come on, bitch. Come on now, come on now. <laughs> Instant mask off! <laughs> Yamauchi yeah, has a single brain cell, he can't use it! Exactly! What happened here, right? We forget all about it! They ignore that shit! Damn, she's just playing on all sides, huh? This girl is just profiting from everybody! Kushida is actually playing this game at an unreal level. Manabu! Nisan! Nisan! Oh shit! Hey, if Yamagat got Arisu, we got Nisan to back us up, bro. Oh, oh, oh rooftop scene. Oh shit, what does this look like a Pokemon gym battle? Manabu is just waiting here. 13 years? Okay. Damn. That's cold, bro. Like, are we gonna have a wholesome scene? <laughs> I got no more points. I wasted all on Tachibana. Emotional support? What kind of support are you asking for? Give me courage. <laughs> what does she want? A fucking head pat? Oh, good girl. You can do it. Is that, is that what she's asking for right now? <laughs> Uh, this could be a really sentimental moment, unless Manabu is literally not caring right now. Do you think that he's actually caring right now in this dialogue, or does he think that his little fucking useless sister is annoying and that she should get expelled? Because he literally said, my little sister fucking show up in class D, tainting the fucking Horigita name, just leave the school right now, bitch. So like, what does he think right now in season three? <laughs> The way that she's saying this monologue makes it sound like Susan is a key player in this special exam, yet she hasn't done shit yet, but maybe they're building something up. Maybe she will be, like, critical. <laughs> Where's Anakoji? What? Uh... Enjoyable? Enjoyable? The school is a fucking school of sociopaths! Every day I gotta look behind my back! It's, it, it is not boring, that is true. <laughs> one of your flaws. Not all of it, just this one. You never looked at anything beside you. Because she's tunnel visions on Manamu's back. And I said this from like beginning of like season one or season two reactions. You can check in my playlist. I said it every time. This is the classic cliche of perfect sibling and a younger sibling that's always chasing over the perfect sibling. The perfect sibling acts all cold and aloof, but actually they care a lot. It's just that they're disappointed that, you know, Susan is chasing after perfection, but you shouldn't. You should be yourself, right? Your pursuit of Nissan is the reason why you're in this situation until she figures that out. She can't progress. So her widen the view right now, escaping the tunnel vision thanks to Anakoji. That's why Nissan loves Anakoji, not Suzune. Yeah, usually you say, shut up, bitch. <laughs> shut up, bitch! Get out of my face! I hate you! Whoa! Whoa! Manabu sign right here! All of you see me as my achievements and popularity. Damn, you never even saw me as a human being. You never saw me as a big brother.
I was just like a goal for you. I never thought of it like that. Eternal goal, but it shouldn't be that way. You're your own person. <laughs> How does she see Anakoji? NPC? <laughs> He's a classmate I don't particularly care for. <laughs> this is our first friend, by the way. This is this is our first quote unquote friend that we met at our school, by the way. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, we did do Marikita to her. That's never gonna happen. You're never gonna surpass him. <laughs> you can't just say that, big bro! That's right. Just like me, you don't have to catch up to me. Just be your own person, right? Here we go. Finally, she's getting the lessons that she needed. Just be yourself. What the fuck? Yo, there is something so... F I know this is a sentimental scene, but there should never be a moment where siblings act like this. Manabu takes a step forward, and what is the instinctual body language from Suzune? <laughs> she shrinks back. Please, Nisan. No more palm strikes. Please. Oh, God, here comes a palm strike. Yes, you try to beat her up in season one. You did beat her up in season one. <laughs> she, she, she remember this shit, dude? <laughs> Yes, you're still stupid, little sister. So what's the answer? What she wants to ask? Who's the ringleader? Who should we get expelled? She's gonna tell Manabu that? Okay. Mm, cameraman, right behind. This motherfucker, dude. This motherfucker. I'm not even, like, upset at Yamauchi because he's just getting used and he's too stupid. I'm more upset that half the fucking class is teaming up with Yamauchi and betraying Anakoji like that. Like, seriously, like, Ike, Sudo, Hakase, they all betray him? That's fucked up. Yamauchi no wa waruku nai. Daga Oshimuraku wa sakayanagi no kuchiguruma ni notte. Oh, it's time to fucking get revenge, dude. It's time to pop off, dude. Sa, ugoke horikita. Wait, we're waiting on Susan to move? no omae nara. Do you think that he planned? Wait, what did? Wait, I forget. Do you think that Anakoji planned the rooftop scene with Manabu? He called Manabu, right? He called Manabu. What did he ask for? I forgot. My fucking short-term memory is burnt. Why? Why? Why did he call him? The rooftop speech was that all just to get Susan and Manabu to talk? That whole scene only worked. That was Anakoji's request. Oh my god. That's even more fucked up. That's that's even more fucked up. <laughs> Just start to realize. <laughs> Manabu didn't want to be there from the beginning. <laughs> this, uh, I thought that was a wholesome sibling moment. <laughs> I had a said this up, please. I know you hate your little sister, but please for me, Manabu, just do it. Just come, go to the rooftop. <laughs> just do it, please. <laughs> that's fucked up. That's fucked up. <laughs> oh wait, Susie's moving. Here we go, she's moving! Ta oh, chap, start to! Yamachi's sweating. <laughs> no, we don't. What are you talking about? Okay. Yeah, call them out. No poker face from Yamauchi. See, this is the poker face you're supposed to have. If I was Yama you have to look like Koenji right now, because you know Koenji hasn't done shit, but look how fucking proud and confident he looks, dude. Rat! Rat! Hondo poker face, true. Oh shit, our leader's moving, man. Yo, she's looking like a little mini uh, Chabashira right now on the podium like this. Alright, who are we getting rid of? No, someone does! Someone does! Shut up, Sato. There's a chance that. Okay, okay, okay. That's right, we're not being objective about this. It could be just a popularity test. Koenji's talking. Did you just indirectly insult her? Did, did, that's not like you, but this is unexpectedly logical reasoning. Did Koenji just 
shit on Susanae's intelligence and say, wow, black haired girl, usually you're so stupid and useless and trying to chase after your big brother that doesn't even like you. <laughs> and who the fuck is behind Koenchi? I'm, I'm gonna be real. I don't know who the fuck any of these students are, bro. Especially Sakura. Fuck Sakura. <laughs> wow, Susanae, you're actually using your brain. Say it. Oh, Yamauchi! Sorry, Sakura ID! Sakura ID! Even Koenji's agreeing. Oh shit! Sakura ID! Kiyotaka Aonokoji. Never mind. Yeah, we knew that. That was expected. That was expected. Rat! Rat! You betrayed us! And that's the episode. Another arc where Adisu fucking just says, Oh, Anakoji, it's time for our little duel. But actually, I got something else to do now. So we'll resume this later. And then she fucking backstabs us. Again. This bitch does this every time. What? She just faced us just straight up. But this is interesting. Adisu is using Yamagod as a tool, right? As a proxy. Bro doesn't even know he's being used, probably. Bro probably thinks that, oh, shit. I'm gonna date the queen of the school. Yo, me and Arisu are gonna date if I just do this, right? What a fucking idiot. I'm actually impressed. I'll give, I'll give Yamauchi some credits right now. You know why? I will give this idiot some credits because I'm impressed that he was able to follow Arisu's step-by-step -step details while they were texting and even got the class to unite to vote against Iron Coach like that. That's actually quite impressive that this monkey was able to take instructions directly from, from Arisu and even got the class to this part. That's actually kind of crazy. That that is the most unbelievable part of this episode. The other unbelievable part was Manabu decided to meet with Suzune on the rooftop because you know goddamn well he didn't want to do this shit. This was a favor set up by Anakoji, which is kind of fucked up. Kind of fucked up, man. I think that he should have palm strike her again. Kushida, this bitch, dude. She is just. The harbinger of misfortune. I don't know where she's on. Is she on our side? Is she on the other side? I don't know. She's hoeing around, but she's actually playing this game at a ridiculous level. She's got this networking skill. She's just in everyone's other clicks. She just has all the fucking information. And like, it feels like we're getting toyed around by Kushida right now. It straight up does feel like it. Now, I'm sure Anakoji has some ulterior motives, right? I'm sure that he's got other plans that's going to make Kushida look like an idiot. But right now, I'm quite impressive. I'm quite impressed that, you know, Kushida's plans right now. And Ichino say she just continues to get Riz. I wonder if there was something drugged in this coffee or something. I'd like to think so. That's my head cannon. Hirata, we still haven't really gotten to see his, like, downfall yet. We're getting to see a little bit more, huh? So I feel like this arc isn't the Hirata arc. But perhaps in a couple episodes it will be. Because this arc is focusing on, like, breaking down Hirata from all the stress, right? If we continue to, like, make him all stressed out... What will he turn into? I'm really interested in what his defect is that we still haven't seen yet. But I think that's about it. Other than outside the stuff that I still don't trust. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.